Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to WillieHow.com, fill out the contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. What we're going to talk about today is the LAN local firewall rule set on Unify. We're going to expand this, you know, uh, <clears throat> in other places as well, but I wanted to start here with Unify. So also, while you're watching this, make sure you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. So uh, here we are. We are over in our UDM Pro. Now this is going to look the same whether it's the UDM Pro, the UDM Standard, the UDM SE, whether it's the Unify uh, Dream Router, whether it is a USG, a USG Pro, a UXG, or the uh, other USG 10 gig router that is, um, you know, no longer uh, in production. It is still getting updates, but it is not, you know, actively being sold. <clears throat> anyway, so what is LAN local? So when you look at how Unify and how Ubiquity has laid out the uh, firewall rules, uh, the last part of this firewall rule, so it's LAN ports, so whatever is designated as a LAN port or a LAN network, because it could be a VLAN, uh, and then local. So what local means on Unify is services local to the USG or the UDM. So that's DHCP, DNS, SSH, HTTPS, all the services that actually run on the Unify gateway, whether it's a UDM or a USG. That is what local means. So if I want to create a firewall rule right now to block one of my VLANs from getting to the HTTPS interface, what I would do is I would create a new rule and I'm going to say uh, block HTTPS and we're going to enable the rule. We are going to drop the traffic. To keep this simple, we're going to do uh, all traffic. The source is going to be a network and we are going to uh, select uh, training VLAN 10. And then what we're going to do is destination is going to be, uh, I have a, we'll hop over there real quick. So I did create these groups, right? So I have an address group, sorry about that, called UDM. And it has the 192.168.10.1, which is that VLAN 10 layer 3 interface. That's the address that's in there because that is the UDM IP for VLAN 10. And then under service ports, I have 80 and 443. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back to that rule. So LAN local, we're going to block HTTPS and we'll say VLAN 10. And we're going to drop and we're just going to say all. We don't care. Um, and then it is going to be a network. It's going to be that training VLAN 10. And we're going to block it to the UDM and we're going to block those service ports. Now, what that did was that just created this rule. It's going to drop all traffic from training VLAN 10 destined for the UDM port 80 and 443. And that's it. So that's how we stop those VLANs from getting to port 80 and 443. Now, use your imagination. You could do SSH. You could do whatever. Now, you could also take this, and we're going to apply the same concept to their firewall rules in another video. But if you've got any questions about this, Leave it down in the comments and I will I will answer those. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon or using our affiliate links, they don't change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks to the channel. Those are all down below. Also, if you need that IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and somebody will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.